Hey guys, this is Radar Mario 21 back here for more Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Basically, between videos, what I did was I got the hell out of the Rocket hide Hideout or HQ, whatever you want to call it. I guess in Gen 1 it's called the Rocket Hideout, but or Rocket HQ doesn't really make a difference. I really don't care. Anyway, long story short is got the hell out of there, went back to Celadon, took killed my Pokemon and sold some crap I didn't need. So yeah, nothing really too exciting, and now we're on the road to everyone's favorite place in Kanto, Lavender Town, because now we have the self scope, which means we can see the the myth, the legend, the ghost Pokemon. When there's something strange in Lavender Town, who are you gonna call? Kakarot. I guess you're going to call Kakarot because, you know, the Ghostbusters, they don't go out to Kanto. They like to stay in New York. They're lost, but whatever. You know, they just deal with humanoid ghosts, not Pokemon ghosts. Let's see if I can uh, avoid everyone. Yes, I can. Awesome. Those trainers will be fighting later in the game when I get my sixth party member. That's just part of his quote-unquote initiation. Awesome. Lavender Town music for the win. Okay, hopefully none of you guys got seizures off that. I know, it's just a rumor, but still. Eh, it's just my favorite song in Generation 1 of Pokemon. Probably the entire Pokemon universe. I love how creepy Lavender Town music is. But anyway, then we can talk to this, babe. Oh yeah? Well, I got a self scope, bitch. What now? I got my self scope. You want, want me to whip it out? And hey, right off the bat, fight against the ghost. A Ghastly. Ghastly, uh, it's really a shame about Ghastly. You know, he could be a good Pokemon, but unfortunately, he's also part poison, and in Generation 1, poison type is a kiss of death. So he's rendered pretty much useless. Also, there's only one ghost type move that deals damage. Oh, crap, he's dead. Whatever. As I was saying, there's only one ghost type move that actually deals damage. It's called Lick. And... Like every other generation... No, not stats, damn it. I was, I was saying, like every other generation, Ghost normal type is unaffected by Ghost. However, in this type, Lick does not affect Psychic-type Pokemon for some reason. So the anime is completely wrong. Ghost-type Pokemon are not strong against Psychic. They're actually pretty much useless against Psychic types. And I see a channel up there. I want to go fight her. But first, Wild Battle. I'm gonna try and capture this guy. Aw, oh, crap, I'm paralyzed. Anyway, yeah, I wasn't talking through the whole fight, but whatever. Um, hopefully I'm able to catch this Ghastly. Yes, I did. And I don't like the fact that Verlander's paralyzed, but whatever. Hopefully, I, I think I have full heals. Ghastly, the gas Pokemon. It's a ghost. And it puts people to sleep. You'd think I'd name it CM Punk as a go-to-sleep Pokemon, but actually, no. Because uh, its final evolution reminds me of someone else, someone I actually idolize. And here's his name right now. Bon Scott. Technically, he's technically not the original lead singer of ACDC. It's a guy named Dave Evans. But he was the lead singer on the first six albums, so yeah. And he was just one of the most awesome people ever to live. Yeah, and Bon Scott died in February of 1980, but it was February 19th. Alcohol overdose and puked on his own vomit. Sounds kind of bad and like horrible and stuff, but honestly, you know, the dude was so drunk he couldn't even feel anything when he died. And to get that drunk, he must have had one hell of a party. So, in all honesty, it's actually a pretty cool way to die. You know, everyone's got to die some way, might as well die partying. And in a painless manner, more importantly. And Verlander, paralyzed and confused, so now I'm really annoyed. Don't hit yourself, thank you. As another thing about the ghost Pokemon is uh, they actually have pretty good special defense. And I hit myself in confusion, but they have really good special defense, but pretty crappy physical offense, so... And in Generation 1, they don't have Levitate, so a ground type can just completely wipe the floor with them. I'm trying to use Verlander here, but 
It's not working too well. And I'm gonna die. Damn it, Verlander, you suck. How come you got shelled like that? Come on, man. But, like I was saying, ground types can just wipe the freaking floor with these guys. Can, now, can you dig that, sucker? Die. I believe that's your only Pokemon? Even though, in all creepiness aside, these channelers, I think, are supposed to be possessed by the Ghastlies, so yeah. 690? I thought I was supposed to get 660. Or probably not, don't quote me on this, but I wouldn't be surprised if in a beta version you originally got 666 Poke Dollars. And no, I do not have repels. Damn it. Well, next time I'm off screen, I'm going to have to get some freaking repels because this is getting really annoying. Just go away, Ghastly. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Maybe we should call the freaking Ghostbusters. That'll stop me from getting annoyed by these stupid Ghastlies. What do you want, babe? Another Ghastly, of course. I don't know what the difference is between these Ghastlies that possess these channelers and uh, the wild Ghastlies. Honestly, I have no idea what the difference is. Why they, uh, they either quote unquote train Pokemon, and there you saw the move Lick had no effect on Lars Ulrich because he's normal type. And for, also, for ghost type Pokemon, they are completely resistant to normal type attacks and fighting type attacks. Lars Ulrich, level 30, he'll be doing a lot of heavy lifting here. And, yep, there it is, 660. Well, that sucks. You know, everyone getting possessed. Was that even English? Qua? Ki 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 qua? What are you talking about? I know you're possessed, and you're probably going through convulsions. Man, if this game was had better graphics, it could have really ramped up the creep factor. Strike lick doesn't affect me. Screw you. Why do you keep trying to lick me? You cannot lick me. Do not lick me. Die. Die. By my hand, I creep across the land, killing firstborn man. Yes, I am seeing creeping death. It seems entirely appropriate in Pokemon Tower since, you know, we're dealing with ghosts. And the ghost Pokemon do annoy you like creeping death. So yeah, pretty much makes a hell of a lot of sense. And what do you got? What do you got to say? Are you coming on to me? Are you coming on to me like emo style or something? Feel the darkness. You, you are destined to join me in the darkness. Be my partner in the darkness. Together, we shall navigate the darkness. I'm not sure if that's how emo chicks talk, but yeah, it's probably not too far off. And Lars is confused. Crap. Eh, uh -huh. still worked. I'm gonna switch out Lars eventually. I just always get really lazy as part of the game that I find a Pokemon I ride with, and I just stick with it. And unfortunately, Nightshade actually does affect normal type Pokemon because it's a fixed damage move. It does damage equal to the level of the attacking Pokemon, so that would always do 23 damage since he's level 23. And hey, new Pokemon. Second Pokemon, okay, I'll switch it up. Uh, who do I want to switch to? Ah, James Hetfield, let's do it. Die by my hand. I say that already. I creep the steps and floor. Final darkness. Blood, lens blood painted door. I shall pass. So let it be written. Screw you, confusion. So let it be done. I'm sent here by the Chosen One. Oh, for God's sake. I'm already confused, idiot. Please actually hit him. Thank you. Please don't kill me. Please don't hit yourself. Of course you do. Um, please don't screw yourself over. Please don't. And of course I'm freaking paralyzed. All right, super potion it up, and hopefully this paralysis doesn't screw me over. 
Screw your nightshade. Okay. Keep licking me, bro. Keep licking me. Good. So let it be written. So let it be done. To kill the firstborn ghastly son. I'm creeping death. And James Hetfield, level 29. Hell yeah. What do you gotta say? What? I can, because I'm awesome. Sorry about your condition, now. Elixir, wahoo. Could use it later, I guess, but whatever. And oh, Awakening. Legend of Zelda, Kakarot's Awakening. How awesome. Uh, who do I want to lead off with? Yeah, I can get Slash up there. Why not? All right, Slash, you can kick this chick's ass. If you want to fight me, right? Beat you, I will, Yoda. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Of course, another freaking Ghastly. That's all I get in Pokemon Tower is 100,000 freaking Ghastlies. Die. You can't hit me because I'm underground, even though you're a ghost. And how does a ground type attack hit a ghost? I have no idea, but let's not question the logic of Generation 1 Pokemon. What, what, what? Babe, were you stoned? Were you, were you smoking reefer? I mean, that's legal in, I think, 48 of the 50 states. And may you rest in peace. Oh, I should show the end of this. Slash got to level 30 fighting random ghastly. Those are his stats. Whatever. And down here we got... HP up. Awesome. And another fight. Let's see if I can move on with that. Okay, I'll fight this babe. Then we'll uh, probably call it an episode. Wait. You're actually talking to the ghost? You can actually communicate with the dead? You're like that kid in Sixth Sense that can talk to ghosts? Do you need like Bruce Willis, who's spoiler is a ghost, to actually help you deal with you talking to the dead? And your ghastly's gonna try and lick me even though I'm underground because it's a moron, it's just gonna eat dirt? Have fun eating dirt, buddy. What do you gotta say? The ghost is... is a, oh, wait. It's already dead, so it's dead dead. No, you weren't dreaming. It was all real. You uh, try to attack me with a ghost, and it's now dead dead. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, this is a perfect place to stop. Right here. Purified protected zone. It's like a Pokemon Center, so yeah, awesome. Everyone's sealed up. So with that, I'm signing out. This is Radar Mario 21. See ya. Okay, bonus footage. While I was, you know, trying to get out off screen, I ran into this guy, Cubone. Kind of a rare find here in Pokemon Tower, so yeah, glad I found him. Just gonna try and weaken, weaken him and then capture his ass. Come on, dude. Oh crap, not Bone Club. Die, or not, not die, weaken. There we go, excellent. You are going to be mine. And you will have a goofy nickname. Because I deem it appropriate that you do have a goofy nickname. From Family Guy, I don't remember the exact episode, but... Alright guys, drinking game. We take a drink every time Brian says the word, Bonerific. It's his catchphrase. Wait, Bonerific's my catchphrase? Yeah, it totally is. Because his name is Cubone, I have such an immature sense of humor. His name, Bonerific. And with that, Bonerific goes to the PC, and I'm signing off for real. See you guys next time. This is Radar Mario 21. Later.